Can you afford travel to Poland? Can you find good food in Poland? Do you need to learn Polish? And most importantly, is Poland safe? Let me tell you why Poland could be the best travel destination for you this year and I have a few solid reasons. Cześć, cześć, I'm Marcin and let's discover Poland in the Polish way. Is it easy to get to Poland? Yes it is, Poland is part of Schengen area. If you are in or can enter Schengen area, you can enter Poland without additional paperwork. You will find 13 airports here with pretty good transfer to the city center. We have direct international rail connection to cities like Vienna, Berlin or Budapest. And of course there are many border crossings for food, car or any vehicle that can drive on Polish roads. This Distances. The distances between places here are not large, so you won't waste much time on transportation. Warsaw, the biggest city in country, is still pretty small compared to other capitals. And if you want to travel from Krakow, one of the most beautiful cities in the south, to Gdańsk on the Baltic Sea in the north, it's only 5 hours by train. And no matter how much time you have, you will be satisfied. Few hours layover, transfer from the airport to the main city in many cases won't take you much time. For example, it's 20 minutes in Krakow, 30 minutes in Gdańsk, 35 minutes in Warsaw. Thanks to that you will have time to discover city center, experience Polish culture and taste our cuisine. But if you have few days or more, that's great because everyone will find something for themselves in Poland. Do you like nature? We have one sea, 23 national parks, over 40 mountain ranges, more than 7000 lakes and countless walking and biking trails. If you appreciate historic architecture, visit beautiful cities like Krakow, Wrocław, Toruń and many many others. What's more, in Poland you will find over 400 castles or churches ranging from small wooden ones to huge cathedrals. Prefer modern cities? You will love Warsaw, which combines traditional and modern architecture, including the tallest building in the European Union. Or maybe you just want to relax in a hotel by the pool and in a spa. You will find many results all over Poland that will satisfy you. Food. Oh my god, if you are foodie, Poland will be goodie. I will definitely make separate episode about Polish cuisine, so make sure you subscribe to this channel. But it's not only Polish cuisine that's tasty here. You will definitely like sweets like jeżyki, ptasie mleczko, draże, korsarze or krówki. No, no, I mean candies. Deserts like sernik, Timno raisin, karpatka, charlotka and many many more. Extremely underrated Polish bakery products. But don't go to these popular chains or supermarkets. You will get only mass products there. Go to some local bakery and you will find a lot of super tasty breads, drożdżówki or hauka. Hauka is awesome. During summer and early autumn you should try our fruits. Berries, cherries, plums and apples. And of course, great Polish food. Wait a second. For some reason the most famous Polish alcohol is the worst that we produce here. I mean, it's good if you want to get wasted fast and cheap, but if you want to try something delicious, you should try Polish craft beers, Miut Pitny, Śliwowica, Cydr or many many others. Poland is allergic, vegan, keto, lactose or gluten free friendly. If you have a food intolerances, allergies or you are on specific diet, Poland is a great place for you. There is no problem finding lactose free milk or plant based alternatives and restaurants often offer dishes tailored to customers food intolerances. Even if a menu doesn't specify if a dish is suitable for your diet, you can always ask the waiter for help and they are very helpful. However, remember that some things can be easily substituted. Unfortunately, we don't have gluten free or keto pierogi, but there are also places dedicated to specific diets and you won't have trouble finding gluten free or lactose free products in stores. Almost any time of year is good. Summer is sunny and warm, but not excessively, so except on a very few hot or rainy days, you can explore the city or take a walk in the nature. The choice is yours. Autumn is when the leaves change to their fall colors and weather becomes a bit wetter. While long outdoor walks might be less appealing, it's still a great time to visit cities, museums and other sites. Winter brings snow, if you are lucky, and a Christmas vibe. And if you enjoy snowboarding or skiing, you can head to one of the many slopes in the south. Spring is a time when nature is colored anew and the world's awakens to life again after the winter break. It's the best time to venture outside the city and enjoy the beauty of the nature. Poland is still hidden gem. The number of tourists arriving to the city by the Vistula River is over half less than those visiting countries like Italy, France or Spain. Those countries have been systematically building their position in tourism for many years. Poland has only recently become tourist friendly after WW2 and up until 1989. Entering this communist country which was behind Iron Curtain and depend on Russia was almost impossible. Post 1989 Poland began to catch up with the West, but it's only in the last few years that it has truly stepped into modernity. New hotels, restaurants, roads and public transportation awaits to enhance the experience for tourists visiting the countless fascinating places across the country. 
language. You don't need to speak Polish to communicate here, as many Poles speak English quite well. In cities and larger tourist centers you can easily communicate in English. However, with older generation and in smaller towns you might encounter some difficulties in communicating in English. But Google Translate does a pretty good job of translating between English and Polish and vice versa. Rich culture and history. Poland's history spans over thousand years, with the country existing in various forms, under different governing structures and influences. The history of PRL, Polish People's Republic, alone, which lasts just over 40 years could fill an entire channel and you can discover all this history by visiting Poland. Easy to plan. Planning your trip is easy, you will find everything on the internet including costs, opening hours, restaurants, menus and other details. You can plan everything before arrival, your trip itinerary, budget and commute durations. Not many tourist traps. Don't get me wrong, where there are tourists there are traps. But in Poland they are not as insistent as in some other places. And they are super easy to avoid. Plus I'm here to help you with your trip to our beautiful country. So if you would like to hear more about scams, let me know and I'll make an episode about it. And now we move on to one of the most important questions. Can you afford travel to Poland? Despite inflation contributing to a significant increase in prices in Poland in recent years, it's still much more affordable than other European countries. You will need a place to stay and you might consider 5 star Sheraton hotel in the center of the city. For example, in Kraków you would only pay this much per night for two people. However, I don't think that you need to pay that much for hotel. You will find many other options on booking. And those located in the city center rated at at least 9 out of 10 points start at this price. Okay, it's time to eat. We have just one restaurant awarded two Michelin stars. And the price for full experience is only 790 Polish water. But dining in a Michelin star restaurant isn't your only option. I highly recommend Barry Mleczna, where you can enjoy super tasty inexpensive local cuisine. And the prices are incredibly affordable and the food tastes like it's homemade. For a romantic dinner, the price at a very good restaurant in Kraków, among many that I can recommend, for the most expensive dish is only about 75 zł. Regarding transportation, a train transfer from Kraków airport to the city center costs 17 zł. A 7 day public transportation ticket in Kraków is only 56 zł. And if you are planning to travel from Kraków to Warszawa, you need to pay that much. Is Poland safe? Yes it is, but it's topic for another episode. Subscribe for more!